Hello everyone, uh, today I would like to cover in this video model analysis simulation. Uh, mainly we will determine the fundamental frequencies and the associated mode shapes. So let's go forward with the process. So now if you go to the ANSYS workbench under the toolbox, I'm going to, to uh, analyze a uh, model so click on model, drag it, and drop it in the uh, project schematic. So now we drop it. Now we're going to go to engineering data that has been highlighted. It means by default it's going to be structural steel. Now I'm going to go to the geometry, right click, import geometry, browse. So I'm going to browse, I'm going to use uh, this lab number seven as my uh, model for determining the model analysis simulation. So now I'm gonna click on the model. So now let's go to the mesh. So if I go to the mesh in the new version of ANSYS 2019 and 20, as you can see about the meshing sizing, they change that to be like here resolution, under the resolution. And it used to be before like uh, uh, coarse, medium, fine, but now under the new versions you have under resolution, you have here uh, a list of starting from zero up to seven. So it has different, you start from zero and you move up, up and the maximum can be seven. So for we're gonna choose just a moderate, uh, moderate uh, number. So I'm gonna use just four, four or five. I'm gonna put five, okay. So we select that and then we can go to generate the mesh. So right click, update or generate mesh. So now we generated the mesh. Now we need to put the boundary condition. So what I'm gonna do is we have here, we're gonna uh, have it fix its support from the edge. So what we're gonna do here under model, I'm gonna right click, insert, fix its support. And in my case, the fix its support will be in this edge. Okay, so apply. So now we've fixed the support. Now we need to do the model analysis. So the first step is to generate the uh, fundamental frequencies or the, uh, the frequencies, the, the, the fundamental frequencies. So I'm going to say solve and wait till the model be solved. As you can see under the solution here, the software already generated the fundamental frequency. These are the first six mode shapes. Uh, uh, so Sorry, the, the six mo uh, fundamental frequencies. Also, you can determine how many frequencies you need to determine. It could be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever. So, so for that analysis, yeah, under the analysis, settings under model the analysis settings here it tell you how many modes you are you need to find so in this case we have six but you can choose any different number if you want to get the, the first three or the first seven or the first six this is how you do it okay so now let's go to back to the solution and the the software determined the first six fundamental because i bought my uh, my my default is was a six i believe so now we have this uh, fundamental frequency all what you need to do now is to highlight these frequencies i'm going to put a shift so i can highlight all of them when you right click on these frequencies you can say what create mode shape results so i'm going to click on this and you notice something here they are listed here on the uh, our outline so now I have the six mode uh, shapes and the next step is solve again so I'm gonna solve so I can get the fundamental. so now I get all the fundamental when I click on the first one so I get the first mode shape and here is how it's gonna behave now when I click on the second one this will give me the second mode shape. And then the third one, you give me the third mode shape. And the uh, fourth one, it show me how it will vibrate when you reach this frequencies, which is 90 Hertz. 
for this particular model. So the same thing, and then this is the fifth mode shape, and this is number six mode shape, so I can get the vibration like this. Okay, as you can see, it's just a straightforward solution, and mainly as first you determine the fundamental frequencies, here are the first six fundamental frequencies, and then you determine the mode shapes, and this will do it. Now, for more advanced vibration analysis, we're going to use this mode shape and these fundamental frequencies to do the analysis of vibration for more complicated parts. So please stay tuned to my uh, channel and you will be uh, alerted by the new model and the more advanced applications. I wish you all the best and good luck. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I would like to hear your feedback. And if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and give it a thumbs up. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.